All right, we're here with Jack Turner, senior defensive back from Natick High School, after a remarkable game on Friday night against Needham in a 32-14 win. Jack had not one, but not two, but five interceptions. How often do you see that, guys? And for that, he is our ESPN Boston Player of the Week, brought to you by your Massachusetts Army National Guard. For more information, go to nationalguard.com. Jack, let's look at this. I mean, it's one thing to get one pick, maybe two picks, but you, you, you're piling them up there. After pick three, four, and five, you must be feeling – uh, and into the planet there. I mean, what was going through your head as those picks are piling up? Um, I was just surprised at myself. I just kept getting the interceptions, and I was just amped. Like, after after I caught him, after, like, the third and fourth, fifth one, I was just so tired. I, like, had a hard time running him back because I was so amped. <laughs> Amped up, but yeah, it was exciting. What was the banter like in the locker room? I know you, you're, you're kind of a role player here, but did you, did you feel like uh, you, you're a star of the show or what? Yeah, I felt that way. Cause usually I'm not really, I'm kind of like the quiet one in the locker room. It doesn't really say much, but after that, you know, it was exciting. All the kids, they're cheering me on and they're happy for me, so it was good. Yeah. And we talked about this on Friday night, but the, the way that you guys were instructed to defend against the run when the play broke down and, and uh, they get flushed out of the pocket, throw things, and, you know, don't be afraid to roll up and try to jump a route there. Talk about that defensive strategy and, and, and you know, how that worked for you guys. Um, well, the rolling up really worked out well because, um, well, they started out with uh, number seven, their wide receiver as the quarterback, and it was kind of kind of caught, caught us off guard. So and he rolled out a lot, so we were kind of expecting that. But then when they got back, to um, their number one quarterback, he, they also did a lot of rollout. So as a corner, you just kind of read that. And you're supposed to, normally if they just drop back and pass, you kind of just stay back and not let anyone get behind you and do that. But when they roll out, usually you sync up to 10 yards and just jump the routes, and that's what I did. Let's talk about this Natick defense. Obviously, if you read a lot of the headlines this year, it's Flutie, it's Dunlap, it's a permutation of the both. Um, but really, there's some unsung players on this defense. I think we think of Mike Dunlap, the leading tackler here. But uh, we'll talk about this defense and how, how, how these guys work. Um, well, you know, our main goal as a defense is to get the ball back to the offense, and they make plays, and that's really how we win the games. But as a defense, you know, we just we focus on getting the ball back, creating turnovers, and just keeping them to like three and outs, and not letting them get the momentum that they need. So, uh, you get Wellesley this week, and then ev the one that everyone is going to be talking about, November 9th, here Walpole comes, and that's for every for all the marbles. Everything's on the line there. Uh, do you find yourselves struggling this week to keep Wellesley in focus with with that huge game coming up in two weeks? Um, I think, yeah, obviously we're going to lose a little bit of focus on Wellesley because Walpole is such a big game. But um, usually our coaches do a good job of keeping us focused on the task at hand, and um, we just try to take the, take the season one game at a time so not get ahead of ourselves and just keep focused. What do you think that are going to be the keys for you guys to take care of uh, these next couple of weeks to kind of wrap things up? Um, just do keep doing what we've been doing this whole year. Um, defense, just keeping the uh, opposing offense down, not letting them score, getting turnovers, and then offense, just scoring, creating points, doing what they do best. Well, Jack, congratulations. Heck of a night here. Five interceptions. How often do you see that? And for more coverage, go to ESPNBoston.com.